All right, so in this video, we're going to look at linear models. So we're going to look at um, how to create linear regression uh, models and how to do um, some analysis of, analysis of variance in ANOVA test in, in R. So um, first things first, how to get a linear model. So if we want to um, get a linear model, uh, sorry, a linear regression, we use the linear model function. And very simply, if we want, for example, to get the height in meters, um, and we want to see if we can find predictors for the height in meters in the JJJ data set, we use the, the tilde, and we put it against the, let's try and see if we can, see if there's a relationship between height and and, and weight, we, we probably expect one, but we'll also check if there's perhaps a, a relationship between um, height and meters, um, and uh, sorry, between height and meters, if height and meters can be predicted based on the weight and on um, the savings in pounds. Now we don't really expect that to, to have a, an effect, but, but let's see, oh, what have I got here? weight in kg. It's not weight in meters. My mistake, obviously. Um, weight in kg. And so what comes up is um, is our line, basically, our, lin our linear model. But obviously, that's that's not ideal. Uh, we want the, the full set of results. So I'm just going to copy this and, and call this our lin mod. Save that as that. So that doesn't do anything. That's just our linear model. If I if I call the lin, linear model there, um, it just does the same thing as before. But what I can do is get a summary of lin mod. And if I run that, we get things that we um, expect. So, for example, we've got our p-values here, and we see that we have a significance um, for the weight in in kg. However, the, the savings in pounds are significant. Overall, we accept that we, we do have a linear model, but we can reject the savings in, in pounds. So we can rerun our linear model now. I'm just going to put it there, and we're going to take savings in pounds out. And so if I rerun that, and now rerun that, we see um, that we still have a significant... Um, a significant model, one that we can accept. We can do other things, so for example, we can apply the plot function onto uh, linmod. And now, nothing too exciting has happened there if I just resize that window, but if you see there it says hit return to see next plot. So I'm just going to move these windows around a little bit, make sure I'm there, and if I hit enter, we see all the plots that, that come with um, a regression uh, analysis. Um, so that's that's very useful. Okay, so that's uh, that's very very briefly obviously the code to, to do a linear regression. So this is linear mod, and then you you say um, your uh, what you want to predict, and then tilde, and then you just get all your predictors separated by a sum. Now um, let's take a look at analysis analysis of variance. So if we open up the math.csv file here, we have the class there, whether they're not, whether or not they're, in, well, sorry, whether or not they're in doing calculus one and calculus two, the teacher, the professor, and their grade. So does the professor have a, an input on the grade of these students? Let's uh, let's see. So the first thing we need to do is is uh, read in the data set. So math, uh, we assign that read.csv where it is, so it's tilde, it's on my desktop, but obviously you put in your own uh, path to this file. We, we run that, we have the math data set. And now to get an uh, analysis of variance, we just do AOV, and we simply say, all right, math dollar grade um, against math dollar Prof from memory, these are all caps. And so we get something there, but again, we're not getting um, everything. And 
we can do this in the exact same way. So if I call this my ANOVA, assign to it that, we have my ANOVA now. And we can do a similar thing. So we can do the summary of my ANOVA. And we get um, that the p-value now is um, less than 0 0.05. So we will re reject the null hypothesis, hypothesis, which is that the means are all the same. So that implies that the professors do indeed have an effect on the grades. And as before, we can get plots of our ANOVA as well. And it's just doing the same thing. It's opening up a um, particular plotting window. And we can just click through and look at all the plots corresponding to an ANOVA. So that's very, very briefly how to do some linear models in R.